Hey guys, so today I have the Witch Casket box for October to show you. I know that it's super, super late. It's literally like the middle of November, but I've just had so many other ones to film, so I do apologize. Um, for those of you that haven't seen me open this before, it's a UK box and it's £29 a month. They do ship it worldwide. It's different prices. I'll put the ones that I do know down below in the description, um, and we are just going to open this. So I've not opened it at all yet. I don't know the theme, anything like that so it does smell really good though I can smell something in here so the theme for October is alter curiosities which sounds pretty cool um it also seems like a black and orange kind of theme and this is just a little booklet that tells you all about the items I'm not going to go through it but if you do get the box that is what that is then next we have our little art print for the month and this one is a little hand holding some cards kind of a spooky vibe i would say honestly um, and for those of you that don't want to use it as an art card they now put this little thing on the back which is a monthly manifestations little writing thing it says what are my goals this month what practical steps can i take to reach these goals and what magical steps can i take to reach these goals so that is that. Then next we have our little spell kit for the month and this one is a stone casting letting go ritual. It says contains all you need to cast away whatever is holding you back. So I will open this and show you what is in here. Okay, so we have our little instruction card. I'll hold that up for you in a second. We've got a little white spell candle, a sandalwood incense stick and a pebble which is very very random so this is the instructions in case anyone wants to pause and read and that was everything in the stone casting letting go ritual next we have an opulent altar picture frame apparently it says use this frame to focus your energy when honoring ancestors and loved ones or when working magic for a specific person place an image of the person you're honoring inside the frame to help you focus as you work your magic or hold your memorial ritual okay sounds very cute oh this is actually super pretty so it's just a little kind of like filigree sort of frame it is a metal, I think, and then um, the front seems to be plastic. So it's got like a little pentacle, little herbs and stuff, little eye down here. It's not totally symmetrical. Obviously there's bits sticking out up here which aren't on this side and stuff. But yeah, that is actually very, very cute. So that is our little opulent altar picture frame. Next we have a little box and this says mini altar bottle set. Um, use these charming altar bottles for your herbs, crystal chips, etc. They also make perfect spell bottles. It says orange and black so I'm assuming that there's two. Orange is for creativity, confidence and justice and black is for protection, banishing and letting go. Oh there's actually three in here so I think there's two black and one orange that I can see. So they're just tiny little mini glass bottles that look like this with a little cork in the top. That is our orange one and then that is the two little black ones. Very cute. Then next we have our gemstone or crystal for the month and this one is a carnelian. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of like an orange and red tumbled stone very pretty and the little card for this one says carnelian is believed to energize and promote courage this magical stone can help us to feel empowered and overcome difficulties and it also calms anger and encourages higher self-esteem so that is our little stone then next we have our pin for the month and this one is like little pumpkins and candles Hopefully you can see that. So it's like a little oval shape with three pumpkins and then some candles down here. It does actually have two pins on it to stop it spinning around if you're wearing it or if you put it on a bag or something. So that is very cute, little enamel pin. 
Then next we've got this little wooden block. Now I don't know if there's like a card or something in the box for this somewhere but up to now I'm just seeing this and it looks like a little mini spell candle holder and an incense holder I would say. It's just like a little black wooden block with pentagram or pentacle and little leaves on it. So that is very cute. And then we've also got some spell candles as well, which I guess kind of go with that. So we've got white, black, and orange. White is for purity, peace, and all magical workings. Black, protection, banishing, letting go. Orange, creativity, confidence, and justice again. That is those. They kind of go with that. And then we have one big item left, which is this before some incense and the scroll. And it says that this is a wooden altar platform. Um, a beautiful platform to elevate your important magical items on your altar. Use this decorative raised surface to display your small curiosities or for offerings during rituals or as a small spell casting table when working your magic. So let's see what this looks like. Oh, this is really cute. So it's like a little tiny mini table. It's black wood and it has engraved in the top a big pentacle with lots of leaves and stuff around it. That is very, very cute. It reminds me of kind of like dollhouse furniture. I know it's not supposed to, but it's giving me like creepy dollhouse vibes, which is so cute. So yeah, that is our wooden altar platform. And then we have some incense sticks. So these are Joyous Memories incense, it says. And these are um, apple and dandelion. So Chili would love these. They actually do kind of smell nice. Quite um, a fruity sort of fragrance, I would say, for those. Incense are not my favourite, but I do quite like those ones. And then we have our little scroll, so I'll open this in case anyone wants to pause and read it. This one is about magical altarware. There's loads of different ones, so I won't read them out, but if anyone does want to pause and read, obviously you can do. And yeah, that was everything in the October Witch Casket box. So I'll quickly grab it all and show you it all together at once. So we had our little mini art print, the opulent altar picture frame, which I think is really, really cute. Probably one of my favorite things in the box. The stone casting letting go ritual little mini spell kit, the enamel pin, the little mini spell candles, the little wooden block like spell candle holder, the mini altar bottle set, the joyous memories incense, our carnelian gemstone, the wooden altar platform, and the little scroll as always. So that was everything in the October altar curiosities witch casket. I actually really liked this one. I think it was quite different. Lots of weird, unusual items that we've not had before. The picture frame is really, really cute. Um, I do also really like that little mini altar table platform as well. That is really cute too. So you'll have to let me know what you thought of this one down below. Um, I'll put all of the details for them in the description in case anyone wants to check them out. And I hope you liked the video. If you did, please subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye guys.